Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we look at all the new character skins in Call of Duty Mobile. A bunch of new skins were added recently, including some hidden stuff, some secret stuff, and also some leaked upcoming skin, a female character, which is freaking amazing. So let's get into it, but before we start guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. So first of all, we're gonna start with the Elite PMC. This one is not a secret, it's not hidden, but in my previous video, I asked you guys, what should I do on my next video with my cut points? Should I buy the Elite skin in the shop or should I open more Platinum crates? And you guys, uh, was pretty much obvious. You guys wanted me to buy the skin instead of gambling on some boxes. So let's go and buy this skin and at the end of the video we're gonna go in some third person battle royale see that skin in action so it's 1200 cut points it might look a bit expensive but it's nothing compared to the price of the platinum crate here we go it's a rare skin the blue rarity color i'm gonna go in my battle royale loadout and change the skin to the elite pmc deploy also i need to decide what backpack i'm gonna use with that i think the red backpack is gonna fit right i mean the guy is pretty much all dark colors so you can probably use any backpack is gonna look good right yeah yeah let's go with the red one this is pretty fire yeah i love that one but we're good to go but before we go into the gameplay let's go with the skins all right first they added a new preseason in battle royale and if you rank up you can unlock a new skin you will unlock that skin at Master 1, which is a bit of a grind, but some of my friends on Discord already got it, and they name it Special Ops 4. You can get a good look here, a screenshot from the leaderboards. I will definitely go for that one, guys. I started grinding today. I played a bunch of Battle Royale, and I will play more this week on my way to get that one. The next one was added in the multiplayer rank preseason 2. It is called Special Ops 2. It is also unlocked at Master 1 in the ranked multiplayer. There's also a rare variation of Special Ops 2. To get that one, you need to get to Legendary Rank. Now, I don't know what's the difference between the Uncommon Special Ops 2 skin or the Rare Special Ops 2 skin. It looks like it's the same, but there must be something. So if you guys have any details, leave a comment below. And here's a closer look. Some guys got it at Master 1. Looks pretty badass. Now, I don't know which one I like the most. Special Ops 2 on the ranked multiplayer or Special Ops 4 on the Battle Royale. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most. Now, yesterday I told you guys about the Battle Crates that you get for free just by playing every day. On your daily login rewards, you get Battle Crates. And there's a special hidden skin in the Battle Crates. If you guys are lucky, you have a chance to get it and I have a screenshot for you guys it is named Terrence Brooks and it's been reported that some guys got it from the battle crates so once again guys it is not listed in the platinum crates and leave a comment below if you can confirm that information but I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen on reddit and on the discord so that one is also really nice and I don't know how rare it is because you just need to be lucky and pull it in a crate you cannot really grind your way and get it by playing now let's go with the leak upcoming stuff now here's the first screenshot guys of the upcoming female character skin in call of duty mobile there have been two screenshots in this one you see the girl on the back of the quad shooting an smg i guess with the face mask yeah, looks really really nice but we have a closer look guys now check this out how badass it is it looks like the same character i don't know if it's the same weapon though but definitely the same character you see the mask the side of the head uh i mean it's really looking awesome so cannot wait to see that one and i don't know how we'll be able to get it is it gonna be a character skin that you have to buy or is it gonna be in crates or is it gonna be even rewards we'll have to wait guys to have more information now let's go into the action let's play some battle royale in third person view and see that new character i just bought all right so i got a full squad i hope it's real players i don't know if they put bots in your squad but we're gonna try to play smart i guess and i'm gonna follow my squad because i don't know them and usually i don't use voice chat with randoms i believe it or not my teammates didn't follow they jumped before me 
even though I was the jump leader. So I'm not with my squad. I will be alone here. And look at that, dude. Uh, hopefully, I will not get swarmed right at the, the start. But let's go and look for a weapon. Hey, let's get lucky, boys. I love the backpack, guys. Looking good so far. We got MSMC to start, which is not bad at close range, but we're going to look for a better AR, maybe. Yeah, I wish we could look at the side view or front view of your character. Looking good with the backpack so far. All right, what we got here? Yeah, there's a RPD. We're going to grab all the ammo we can. Oh, M4 and LMG I like. I'm going to swap. There's tons of ammo, guys. I'm going to swap for the AK-117. And there's a dude. Watch out. Looks like not a bot. I don't know, guys. Anyways, we got a kill at the start. Gonna loot this guy. And we're gonna activate our skill. Stupid teammates are down already. I already lost two teammates. Shit, careful. Reloading. Oh, that's not good. This is not good. Man, that new shield ability is freaking good. Wow. Alright, so so far so good. We got two kills. I'm gonna loot this dude also. And maybe start moving towards the safe zone. It's gonna be a solo game, guys. I mean, don't do that. If you're playing with randoms, you might want to stick with the squad. Like, don't jump. And just follow the jump leader. Even if you don't like the spots he's, he's going to, you might as well stick together. You have a better chance to survive. Because now I lost half my team. And the last dude, Hot Sauce, I mean, he's not close. So if I die, he cannot revive me. If he dies, I'm way too, too far to get him up. So... It's really not good strategy, especially it's right now, and every point matters. It's not about the kills, it's about the placement. What you guys want is try to get, like, finish high, like top three, top five, gonna get you more points. And you see, my teammates are dead already, and there's no way I can get there in time. Plus, I got someone on my back. Come on, boy. Be good. Let's go, three kills. Gonna have to move also because the safe zone is collapsing now. Gonna grab some ammo and then we bounce. Airdrop has been delivered. And I don't even have a vest. Oh, there's a dude there. There's a dude in front. Yeah, I don't feel too safe without a vest, honestly. Still gonna try to get him. Yeah, he's very far. I'm running, man. I don't want to activate my drone also. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. And he's probably solo. I'm alone now, guys. There's no way I can revive my teammates anymore. Someone behind me. Freaking crazy, man. Alright, there's a vest. Also need to heal. And probably the other dude in front must have heard me. I have to be extra careful. And I don't want to go into the action yet. I want to go try to take a safe path and not take risk until we're like top 25 or something. Because like I said, it's not about high kill count. It's really about the placement. Crouching like that. Also reloading. And I don't have silencer, so some people are close. 
they know I'm here. And I need to heal also. Got two minutes before the safe zone start moving. So we're gonna see if we can loot any ammo and then move again. And we're top 48 now. Alright, we'll swap for ASM 10 here just because of the ammo. So I'll keep my 556 ammo for the LMG and the 7.6 ammo for the AR. It's not my favorite, but at least we don't have an ammo problem. That kind of solves half my problems. Uh oh. Gonna be a dude in there. Alright, nice. I hear gunshots on my right. Let them fight each other. Oh, gonna have to fight now. Got him. So what do we do now? I mean, seven kills is good for the score, but we really, I want to just try to survive. Last as long as possible without taking any risk. If I had a squad, I would go for the airdrop. But since I'm solo now, my goal is just to survive, so I'm not going to go. And I'm going to wait like 30 seconds and start moving to the next save zone. There's a dude. All right. Hopefully he was alone. And it's time to move, guys. Save zone will collapse. And it's top 15, boys. So definitely going to get some points because I got eight kills, but also decent finish no matter what happens now. If I die now... I mean, I don't know how many teams remaining, but I'm alone. Maybe three, four, five more teams. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. The safe zone is collapsing. There will be action in the final circle. I wish I grabbed a sniper now. Maybe it would have been good. A sniper with a silencer would be awesome. All right, now, not a great spot, but it's seven players remaining. I'm in the next circle. I don't have to move if I don't want to. And I can wait and see what happens. I mean, I got cover. So that's what I'll do. Ah, uh, there you go. There's a dude there. I don't know if he spotted me, man. The last revive flight will arrive in one minute. See? Oh, it's a team. Definitely a team. If I had grenades or rocket launcher, they don't see me, right? But if they have a drone... Or the scout skill. If I had a sniper or something. Guess what I'll do is I'll wait. See if they get spotted. They, they start fighting. Maybe I'm going to chip at them. But if I can get one more spot by not moving. I'll be patient guys. And I'm in the next circle guys. So they're going to have to push towards me. Six players remaining. Three of them are a team. He, they spotted me man. It's pardon me, right? Oh, they're looking at me. Only two teams left. Getting close to victory. Ah, oh, they got me, dude. It was 3v1. <sighs> Second place finish. That's really good. Because I was solo the whole game. And, dude, that team, never do that, guys. Stick with the team. And it's 35 points for that. So, on Rookie 5, moving up to the next rank will be Veteran 1. And that is it for today's video. That was my first game with my brand new skin. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. That was pretty stressful. I gotta be honest with you guys. I wanted the win, but 3v1, pretty tough. So I will be back later, guys, with more Call of Duty mobile videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss a thing. Leave me a comment below. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.